Hi guys, welcome to this session on Batting Pro. This is Mukesh from Batscare Guide for ERP.com. This session is helpful for you if you are completely new to SAP and you are interested in SAP programming. This will provide you a brief introduction to Batting Pro. Batting Pro is a new UI technology from SAP available on SAP Network Platform. SAP plans to replace its classic SAP GUI technology with Batting Pro in the long term. Don't be overwhelmed by the term DINPRO. DINPRO stands for Dynamic Program to indicate the fact that SAP screens are basically dynamic programs having business logic inside them. This is the structure for our discussion today. We'll start with the classic SAP GUI technology along with its drawbacks and we'll move ahead with the launch of FabDINPRO as a part of SAP Network Platform and then we'll discuss the development environments available for building WebDINPRO applications. Finally, I will demonstrate a small web pro application uh, which fetches data from the backend SAP system and displays it in a web browser window. For those of you who have never seen an SAP screen before, this is it. You need to have a software called SAP GUI installed on your machine. Then only you can access SAP system. This is the first screen you get. It is called SAP Easy Access Screen. Uh, you can see the SAP menu tree here with items, logistics, accounting, human resources, etc. You can access the functionality available in SAP system from here. Alternatively, you can type a shortcut name called transaction code in this input field and that functionality of transaction will open in this user session. Like I have opened the metal details for metal code P-400. This is called metal master in SAP system. It has many views like basic data 1, 2, classification, sales, MRP, warehouse, etc. etc. You can see the description of the metal here, the base of base unit of measure, gross weight, net weight, volume, etc. Uh, SAP screen, in this case metal master not only displays the data from the database uh, this screen also has the business logic uh, behind it for example if you want to add a display base unit of measure you will enter a new value and SAP system will validate that value and check whether uh, this is acceptable or not so in case it is acceptable and you save it uh, the SAP system calls the update routines which will update this data into the database so this SAP screen not only has the data but the processing logic behind it and this is one of the major drawbacks also uh, suppose if an application software outside SAP system wants to access the functionality of SAP system, it has to enter the SAP system through these screens. And SAP has developed a few techniques which allow the outside softwares to access the SAP functionality, but they are inefficient and ultimately SAP had to do the hard work of rewriting the business logic, the application logic away from the SAP screens so that uh, it can be accessed from outside application softwares through remote function calls and web services. And this drawback was one of the major design considerations which went into the development of Webdin Pro. So from the very beginning, Webdin Pro separates the business logic from the UI logic so that if there is any change in UI logic, it doesn't affect the whole application. We'll discuss that in a moment. Uh, another driving force was the advancement in the field of internet technologies is developing very fast in year 2000 and after it a lot of standards and protocols emerged and finally the time was ripe to build 
uh, serious internet applications sap was building uh, business applications and sap leveraged uh, the internet technologies to offer a new platform called sap netweaver it was open standards based its primary motive was to integrate the heterogeneous it infrastructure of the business organization a business organization has a number of uh, application software sap erp may be one of them then other non sap erp systems other application softwares which help the organizations in manufacturing operations sales customer relationship management etc etc sap network aimed to provide a platform for these applications so that they can talk to each other they can access the functionalities uh, within each other to reduce the total cost of ownership of the organizations sap network was launched in 2003 and was named sap network 2004 after the year of its general availability in the market uh first web developer for java was launched as a technical component of sap network 2004 three years later web developer for adap was launched in year 2006 uh with sap network 2004 s the next version of sap netweaver so we have two flavors of web intro web intro abap and web intro java the development environment for web intro abap is abap workbench where sap developers spend most of their time in building sap applications abap is a programming language of sap to develop sap custom applications abap workbench was enhanced to offer the capabilities for creating web intro applications so a uh, web intro framework is integrated into a web workbench for web intro for java sap offered an eclipse based development environment it was named netweaver developer studio Eclipse IDE is the tool used by Java programmers to build Java applications. SAP modified Eclipse to suit uh, the building of Web Intro applications. This is a look and feel of SAP Network Developer Studio. We won't go into much detail of this. And this is the ABAP workbench integrating the Web Intro development environment. in the middle of the screen you can see the layout the user interface layout where the developer can build the user interface on the left hand side there are palettes from where the developer can select the ui elements or drag and drop to the layout area and build the ui so and uh, assign the properties to the ui elements here so as you can see it is very simple to build the ui in web in pro uh, it was the intention uh, behind uh, creating web in pro framework that the developer should focus more on the business logic design and development instead of uh, the ui This slide shows you the mechanism behind Web in Pro framework. How the Web in Pro framework renders a view on the client. Web in Pro technology is client independent, which means you can access Web in Pro application on your personal computer, laptop, mobile device, or any other handheld device with the right capabilities. Once you build and compile a web intro application, the framework creates a metadata of the application, an XML description of the application. During runtime, when the client, say a web browser, requests the application from SAP server, the framework selects a suitable rendering engine based on the capabilities of the client, a web browser in our case. 
the rendering engine receives this uh, metadata or XML description of the application and generates a code in HTML and JavaScript to suit the client and the client displays the UI. So till this XML description it is independent of the client technology. The metadata is in the XML format it doesn't have any HTML JavaScript code and it's the rendering engine which builds the UI part of the application from this description so suppose a new client comes on the horizon in future as it is confident that it will develop a new rendering engine for this new UI client and without any modifications or compilation of the present Dimpro application those applications can be accessed by the new client so that's a great advantage the customers will have the renting engine from SAP and their current backend pro applications will be used as they are even if the UI technology changes this is the small web pro application which I built it is based on flight data model you can go through the details of the flight data model on best care guide for erp.com uh, this application has input fields city from country from the city and country of uh, departure and the city and country of arrival and once you click on search flights the application fetches data from backend SAP system and displays in this table so this screen shows the data fetched for uh, your selections fetched from SAP system uh, and it is displayed in the web browser it can be accessed on any any other SAP client and uh, sorry any other client also since the webin pro is uh, client independent with this our session comes to an end thank you for your time hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in my next video bye bye